Hello, it's Sally here from Dr. B. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be working on a um, little new project. Um, I haven't done one of these before, um, so it's all new to me, but um, what I'm going to be working on is kind of like a scrappy log cabin um, quilt design little sample. Um, so what I've done is I have got together a little bit of a mood board. Um, I've put together a collection of fabrics that um, are pleasing and can, I think kind of go well together. A little bit of contrast. Um, so um, these are the colours that I'm going to be working with and the fabrics I'm going to be working with. Now my, um, my panel, my little panel is going to be made up of nine pieces of fabric um, I have actually got more than nine here that's just to give me a little bit of choice um, some are smaller than the others and I'm they might they might not fit I don't know so that's kind of what I'm going on anyway um, what I've done to start off with is I've just got a piece of um, like a, um, a thin linen type of fabric um, as my base this is about um, let me just measure it it's about it's just over four inches square. Um, I've lost my ruler, hang on. So yeah, just over four inches, four, about four and a half inches square. Oh, I think it's about 11 centimetres. Yeah, 11 centimetres square. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I don't know if my um, actual, I don't, I don't know what, I'm kind of winging it a little bit. Um, I've seen, um, I've been watching, um, Jude Hill's videos who um, Jude Hill is um, spirit cloth um, and she's um, she's really inspirational with fabrics and whatnot um, please have a look at her videos they're lovely and um, they're really short some of them I don't think any of them are more than 10 minutes long at all um, so you can just pick up a few at a time and whatnot and um, she's just yes yeah, so um, edu educational and inspirational so she's um, kind of done a little log cabin design and it's not, um, I don't do patchwork at all. Um, it's too precise for me, fitting all the little bits together. So I've never done it, um, but I, I like this idea of um, kind of like a scrappy type of wonky-ish log cabin. So that's kind of like the thing I'm going to go for anyway. So um, the first thing, I'm going to go for is start to choose some fabrics. Now, um, a traditional log cabin has a a red centre um, as it's the heart of the home, I suppose. Um, so that's what I'm going to start off with. I'm going to use this um, this fabric here. Um, I'm not sure. It's a cotton, cotton, a thin cotton fabric. I think it might be a moda design. I'm not sure. Um, but um, what I'm going to do is. Um, and to start off with a squarish piece and just cut out. I'm not going to measure anything and I'm not going to um, use a ruler, I don't think. Right, I'm going to start like that and I will show you what I'm going to do next. So a log cabin, it's, it, you kind of work in a spiral. So you start there, you do the same again up there then that creates a length here and you're going to do one here and you do one here and you work round in a spiral. This is a nine piece um, spiral or log cabin piece. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we go and um, see how big I can make it or as small as I can make it. I don't know what's going to happen, but that's what I'm going to start with. Um, now this here, I like this. So I'm going to but what's going to happen is I'm going to do a hem there and then I'm going to pull it up like that. Um, so I'm just making sure, yeah, it'll be it'll be big enough. I think I must have used this on something else because there's a little knot of cotton there. A little bit of thread. So I'm going to use this and just do that. As you can see, it's not a square, but um, it's not far off. So I'm going to do that there. And I'm going to, do I want to pin it? I might want to pin it, I don't know. I'm gonna pin it, see what it's like. If I can't sew 
where it's been pinned, then I'll have to take them out. I've got my little applique um, pins that um, somebody recommended to me. They thought that I, would, I was struggling with some larger pins and they do seem a lot easier. I'm, I'm impressed with them so far. They're, um, they're doing me well so far. So I'm just going to get some... Um, I've got white cotton on hand, but um, probably cream might have been better, but I've got white now, so I'm going to do it with white. Um, that's not the right needle. I think it's too thick. Um, let me see if I've got a thinner needle. Maybe okay, actually. What's that one? That one might be a bit thinner. So I'm just going to, I've got the base fabric, so I'm going to go through the base fabric, the red fabric and this um, check fabric. And all I'm going to do is just sew a line of stitching about, um, it's not even a quarter, it may be a quarter of an inch in, it's probably not, it's probably a bit smaller, just a little hem type thing. Maybe a quarter of an inch, I'm not sure. It seems a bit smaller than a quarter. Or <coughs> centimetre wise, it's probably it's probably about it's just under half a centimetre. So I'm just doing a back stitch across the top. I'm just gonna take that pin out now. If it's wonky, it doesn't matter. It's, um, it's a wonky log cabin. It's uh, made with um, little happy scrappy pieces. The happy scrappy because I'm happy to be using up my scraps. So they're all, they're all tiny little pieces that I've got. And right, there we go. So that's that done. Um, yeah, so that's flat like that. Okay, so next I'm going to turn it a quarter. It's anti-clockwise, isn't it? Because I'm working around, I'm working around clockwise, but you turn it anti-clockwise, I think. But I don't want to confuse you. You don't have to do that. Right. So next up, I am going to use. I think I'm going to. I've got that one, which is quite nice. Or I've got that one. Uh, no, I like that. I'm going to use this. It's like a dus dusky pink. Um, it's, I think it's been dyed. It looks like it's been dyed. I got it from just a little pack of... Um, I'm just going to twizzle it back around for a minute just so I can get the length. So it's there. And it's about... It's about an inch, isn't it? I'm going to do it about an inch. Probably slightly less. It will definitely be slightly less when I've actually come to have it sewn on. So go back round like that. So it's not level. Hang on, I'm just going to straighten that up because it's not level and it might send me off too wonky. I don't want to go too wonky. But um, I don't want to be measuring all the time either. So that goes on there. I'll just pin it back into place, or this bit into place, just to hold it while I sew it. Okay, so where am I with my thread? Um, I'm caught up in my thread. Ouch, 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 ouch. All right, so where am I? I'm down here, down here. Okay, let's, what I'm going to do, rather than be, I could cut it off, but I'm just going to weave my thread up to the top so I can start up here. Well, I'm going to have to, right, I'm not going to weave my, I should have not been lazy and I should have just tied it off and start again. Oh, I'm getting into a mess now. That was me being lazy. Right. Let's start again. So that's not quite right. You can still see the little bit of it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go that little bit of a way in and 
and do a back stitch all the way across. Oops. Hope you're all well today and you're finding some time to stitch. Um, this, I'm actually, it's actually Saturday here. I'm actually pre-recording this video. Um, I've got a bit of spare time, so I want to get in some, want to get in some sewing and some videoing for you all. I'm just going to pop that out. It doesn't look that level. I know we're supposed to be happy, scrappy, wonky log cabins, but, um, I'm going to have a little bit of order as well. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to finish that off because I got into a mess before, didn't I? So let's not be lazy, Sally. Okay, so we've done that one. I've gone, <laughs> I've gone and twisted. So I did twist round to that, twist round to that. So I think we're on this one now. Okay, so forgive me if this is not how you do log cabins, but this is how I'm going to do them. Um, How I'm going to do them. So um, right, so next colour. That looks nice, doesn't it? I'm going to use that turquoise colour. Um, I'm going to use that straight edge because I think it'll be easier to sew on a straight edge. It's quite this fabric is it's a linen. It's a I think it's an upholstery fabric as well, but it's um it's very it frays a lot. So I'm gonna go there and there. So if I go up there, and again, just about an inch, probably a little less, but it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't have to be precise. You can do whatever, whatever you like. Okay, so that's going on there. And I'm just gonna pin it back into place. It's probably a little bit too short actually, but, um, Quite the right length but it will be okay once when I've, I've got another one going across there so it'll be fine so I've managed to knot my thread and pull it out of my needle at the same time that's clever okay so let's go, go, go. so same again and I'm just going to do this until I've got nine pieces, and I think that makes a square. And put together. And then I think um, I don't know whether to do some stitching on the seams when it's all open. ever do something and then you think well I'll do this on it I'll do this on it and you have to tell yourself no, no more you have to stop now it's time to stop embellishing and primping and preening and all of that jazz it's hard to um, sometimes it's hard to know when something's finished there so that's that, okay. And then we're going round to this side here. This is the next, so we're going round in a, in a spiral. So this is going to be my next um, next piece. So what can I have now? I've got that one, it's quite nice. Now that would fit perfectly with that little bit out. Look at that. That's saying I'm next, isn't it? As it fits perfectly. And look, I even have to only go across like that to get the piece. So that's what I'm going to do. The fabric is speaking to me. It's a bit wonky that side. I'm just going to level this up. It's a little bit um, skew if. So that's going next, if I can get it the right way around. So that's going to go there. Perfect mundo. Okay. 
Again, these little nippers are going to help me. I got that level. Yep. Okay, so I think I've got. I need some more thread. I think. I don't want to run out halfway through. I've got a whole glut <laughs> of these because I buy them secondhand. Um, some of them aren't full most of them aren't full um so i've got them i've used up quite a few just recently threads bobbins and i have to think i know these are plastic i use up all my plastic ones first just to get get them out of the way and i say <laughs> i hoard the, the wooden ones and whatnot because i think oh they're special i won't use a wooden one if i've got a plastic one to use up so i'm using these up first so i've got um, a glut of plastic reels little reels so I don't know what to do with them. Just I don't want to throw them away. But um, I suppose I could do some little. Um, what are they called? Little snippet rolls. I have not done snippet rolls before, and I think I may be doing some snippet rolls with some little vintage silco. There will be plastic ones. I have got wooden reels as well, but. Um, it's kind of to get rid of the plastic ones. But then I think once I've done a piece, I kind of want to put it onto something special. I mean, I've bought, um, oh, here's one. Look, this is, this is one I've just finished. It's a wooden one. How gorgeous is that? And it was linen thread. It was lovely, lovely, lovely thread. I mean, I know the labels are all tattered and torn. It's been well used. Got the little thing there for the thread to be held on so yeah I've got that and I've also got look at this one here isn't that lovely this is I think this is linen as well oh silk oh no silk finish that one's just a silk finish but um so, oops these are just so much nicer aren't they than than a plastic one I think and I think to myself if I'm going to make go to the effort of um making something I want to present it how I want it presented as well so again I'll be using wooden ones and I'm back to what do I do with my plastic ones so I don't know let me know what do you do with your plastic ones I don't know what to do with them I'm trying to be a bit more selective now and only buy the wooden ones I'm trying not to buy plastic ones anymore But sometimes you get like a a job lot, a batch of them, and and they're in there. So I mean, I'm doing my best to get through all the all of the thread and use it up. But um, there's a lot to get through. I also, um, at the shop that I sell my vintage at, um, I do do little slow stitch kits and usually put a couple in there as well so they get used up that way. Oh, I can smell um, something baking in the oven. It's just started to waft over. That was delicious. Right, so that's piece number five. I'm going round, so it's this one next. So what was that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Oh, it must be. So we're on this one here. I'm just going to double check that it is right. Yes, it is. So I'm on this one here. So we're looking for another fabric. Um, I think because I have used, yep, yeah, that one is no good now because it's too small. So I'm going to pop that one away. I'm going to pop that away because that one's finished with that one's finished with i have already done that one i haven't done this one but again <laughs> it's too small now i've got um, a white a lovely white linen which is gorgeous oh i've got that one there but that one is too small again oh, i've got this beautiful blue as well this is like a linen but it's like a brushed like a brushed linen i think it was well it was a sample piece um I think it, it does feel linen and it's quite it feels crisp you know when linen feels crisp oh i've got this one here oh right 
da, 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 da. look at that another piece a perfectly positioned piece so i want that like that proportioned piece sorry not positioned perfectly proportioned piece so that's what i want yeah that's the next one so again about an inch not me i'm not measuring don't throw away your scraps remember keep them you never know when you might need a tiny little bit because tiny little bits put together make a new piece of fabric again right oh, i'm looking forward to seeing this um that's the tiniest knot i've ever seen yeah that's better so again off we go oops i'm getting my finger caught i'm stabbing through my finger my skin must be tough there it's gone through so many times already because i didn't feel a thing well, i felt that it was going through but it didn't hurt You see, it's, I think it's starting to get a little bit wonky now, but it doesn't matter. This will be going in my little journal, my stitchery journal that I made. Um, I'm trying to think how many pages it's got. I don't know whether it's got 52, one for each week. I don't know, but I'm starting a bit late anyway, so... Um, I fill it up I will start another one the chances are high that I might fill it up but then is that just too optimistic at the moment at the beginning of the year we'll see how I feel at the end of the year when oh, my 2024 journal needs to be finished because I've dated it as well. I've put a date on the front, so um, it would be nice to finish it. You know, to com that's what I'm going to be completing this year. But we'll see. Oh, I don't know whether you can feel see that it's just gone dark here. I can because when you're sewing, you need the light, don't you? It just seems to be a bit dark. I don't know whether to put my light on. Sometimes it can get a bit glary with the light on. But it is starting to feel a bit dark. Um, yeah, it's cloud it's all cloudy. It looks like it's gonna rain actually, I think that's why. There we go. So that's number was that number six? Yep, number six. So I'm working around and that's number seven is gonna go there. Now I think if I'm going to use this blue, I need to use it now because otherwise it's going to, the piece is going to get too big. So I'm going to put the blue there, because that's about the right size. So what's that way? Is that any bit different? That's a bit longer. Let's do this this way. Oh, it feels nice to cut through. There we go. Put that to one side. Now we've got a linen side, and we've got a fluffier side. It's like, it's you know, like brushed cotton. Um, flannelette type but it just feels like that fluffy but that side is the linen side and I, do i want that side or do i want that side i think i want the linen side to be honest i like the linen side so let's get that there it is a little bit big i'm just going to snip it down a tiny bit let's see what that looks like what did I say? Linen side didn't I? So it needs to go there. Right, let me just see. It's about right. It's about right. Let's do that there. And that there. Um, needle. Oh, I get. I'm just going to re-thread my needle because I don't know if that's going to take me to the end. Oh, 
whatever's cooking in the oven smells delicious. Smells like, it does smell like apple pie. I don't know whether that's what it is or not. I'm just going to try the light and just see if it makes a difference. Um, hopefully that's not casting too many shadows. See, it's better for me. I can see better. But I just hope it's okay on the video. So is this, did I say piece number seven? This is, I think, isn't it? I mean, you don't have to stop at nine. You can do as many as you want. You can do as few as you want. I can stop here if I wanted to. It's entirely up to you. Do what you like. But I was just, um, because it's my first time of doing this, I just thought I would follow what um, Jude Hill had put on her video and have a go. I'm going to try lots and lots of things this year, I think, and things that I've not tried before. I've just made a mess of that. I don't know what that, I don't know what stitch that's called, but it's definitely not back stitch that bit. Oops. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I do, I can see I've gone through there. Is that what I've done? Yes. that out. I think I'm stitching through a bit of a, a join there because it's a bit tougher. Okay, that's that one. Okay, let's open that up. <laughs> I think I'm going a bit, I'm tilting. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I almost want to do ten. But is that going, hmm, I don't know what. I don't know what I've done. You don't know now. So I'm on this side and look at that. I know I've used that colour already, but it's telling me to use it again because it's exactly the right size. I'm just going to see what I've got left. See, I've got that one, which will kind of be nearly that size. And I've got this one, but I'd kind of like to use that there. That needs using there, I think. So that that and I kind of want to go to 10 is that is that a faux pas or would that be okay do you think because if I leave mm -hmm. don't know I don't know I've got that one as well you see but I, did, I knew that I wasn't going to use them all no I'm not going to use that anyway because it's a bit bright and I'm use that there that's that done so all I've got left are these they're the same aren't they no they're not but they're very similar so put that to one side right so I'm going to let's see let's do this one first I'm definitely going to use this because it's just again telling me to use it because it's the exact size and I have used it before but I think because it's only I've only used a small bit it will be okay so let's 
Look how, look how tilted I've, I've made it. Here. I can hear activity in the kitchen. I don't know whether it's ready or not. So I'll be looking forward to three o'clock. It's time for tea and cake or pie. So what are you all um, working on at the moment? Have you um, got stitcheries um, that you're working on? Um, I, um, I feel great at the moment because I've finished a load of stitcheries off um, and kind of kind of in a lull at the moment, waiting for more projects to come on. We've got the Roxy, Roxy sisters um, will be sharing their new prompt with us on Wednesday. Um, I'm also taking part in the, in Susanna's, Susanna from um, Vintage Blend Studio, her calendar. So that'll be coming on soon, February's. Um, which is like it's like a Valentine type love hearty thing. Um, got that one. Got the botanicals as well. I wonder what flower for the month of February it is. That'll be interesting. Um, yeah. So lots of projects kind of finished, and lots of projects kind of waiting in the wings, so to speak, and. I've got one. Oh, I've got one project kind of not finished yet, but I've still got a month to go on that. That's the um, that's Corinne to be loved treasures by Corinne. The um, stitch the seasons. My winter project project needs finishing off, but um, I've only got a couple more things to do on that. So um, there's no hurry to finish that because I know I'm going to have plenty. Have I just done that? Plenty of time to finish that off. So um, I've tidied all my room up, my craft room up. Um, well, not all of it. I can't say all of it. I've done about half. I'm really organ. I'm, I've really organised my stuff, but I've not done everything. I'm about halfway through. So um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I've found a place to put all of my store, all my on the go projects and whatnot and um, I'm feeling very organised at the moment. It won't last long because um, you know what you like when we start on these projects and we've got threads and fabrics and everything else all scattered all over the place so um, I'm enjoying being organised while, while I am and then it'll all go to pot again once the project gets Get going again right so we're on this one here my wonky wonky log cabin it's not too bad actually is it but um it is wonky but i quite like it a bit wonkier actually i might um i don't know whether now to go with my square so the next piece will be kind of do you know what I mean? Like it's going to go straight there, then it's going to go down here. So it's going to tilt. Get my ruler, and you see what shape it's going to be. Would that be? Would that be pleasing? <laughs> or do I just do a straight? Put that up right, but do a straight one, and then cut my underneath cloth to match this yeah I think so actually I'm going to do that one next or am I going to I don't know 
going to stop because I've kind of, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, sorry, nine, nine makes a thing, but that's going to be a bit oblong. It needs another one, doesn't it? Even if it's coming off the edge. Well, that's what wonky is all about, isn't it? I think that's what's happened. I've just, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine will be right, but then ten will make it. I'm going to have to go for it because otherwise it's going to be, it's not going to be square. Right, let me... Yep. So I'm going to Well, for my first attempt it's it's going all right. I think I'm happy with it. I like the colours, I like the layout, I like how it's wonky. I don't mind that at all. That was the whole point. I did say at the beginning wonky, didn't I? So that's what it's going to be. One, two, three, four. Wrap round and pull through. Okay. And off we go again. The penultimate time, I think. These old linens, I do love working with them. They're so textural and they feel, they just feel so much, so you can't, you just can't buy, you can't buy it new. Or, well, obviously you can't buy all the history that's been, you know, there. You, you think what, who used to own them? Who had them when they were brand new? Who bought? when it was brand new I think this is from a tablecloth that's why I'm saying it because it's an old piece of tablecloth and obviously I didn't buy it new it was or it was a bit, it was a bit tatty when I bought it so I didn't mind at all cutting it up and I've had it probably I'd say I've had it probably about um eight years maybe and I keep pinching little bits from it and using it for different projects and so it wouldn't have cost me much say it cost me five pounds I have used it so many times you'd, you'd never if you bought or tried to buy this standard of linen today first of all it, it wouldn't the patina not is it patina the texture of it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same because it's this has been washed and washed and worn, like washed and worn, but obviously it hasn't been worn. It's been washed and used so many times in the past. It's it's got its it's soft and time worn. You just can't buy that and do right. I'm gonna have to do another one to make it square, aren't I? So. Is it going to be that? Because um, I have got that one, and it it is different, but it's not. It's not right. It's not right. I'm just worried that that those two are clashing. But then it will kind of go with that beige there. No, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go there and that. So it's. Sorry, I've just hit my head on the camera. I hope it didn't knock it too much. I think you got my head in the shot or whatever. So, inchy in size, inchish. Like that. I wonder if I can rip this. It'd be easier. I'm trying to cut it. Yep. Okie dokie. I'm going to leave that edge, so we'll have that there. Lovely. 
and I'm just going to pin it. Do I need two pins? It's getting a bit long. Let's get another pin. A little nipper. Okay. These are great, actually. I do recommend them. They are much better than the, the bigger ones that I was using before. Um, and get a little bit more precise with them. They hold, they just hold things down better. So um, thank you to the person who recommended them. Right, so I'm probably gonna go off the base here, but never mind. So this is, should be the last one. I'm just thinking about adorning the squares and oblongs when I finish this. Um, I think I might do some slow stitching on top of it. Whoops. Let's get that one out of the way. see what it looks like but um, I feel as though I need to do I need to do some slow stitching on it I'm sorry I'm just got my thread tangled yeah I feel as though can I just enjoy my happy scrappy log cabin as a piece on its own I could But do I want to? Or do I want to add some stitching? Because like I say, I'm not a quilter, so I'm not I'm not just doing this to get to have a piece of quilting if you like. Although I have enjoyed doing it. And I probably will do some more at some stage. Tangled up again. My stitches are getting bigger and bigger, I think. <laughs> oh dear. I'm surprised they've gone not look seem very straight, don't they? Um, usually I'm even wonky on my my back stitch, but um I seem to be doing okay today. I mean look at the back of it, it's looking alright quite pleased with myself. I'm usually a little bit slapdash. Well, it's not perfect, is it? But there you go. Right. So I don't know how, well, I do. It's because it's um, it's a wonky quilt. Uh, not quilt. Wonky um, log cabin. But so that's, that's what I've done. So it kind of does, I mean, if you took that off there, that is a squarish, isn't it? So that, I just need to... Um, just do that. Took it, took it under like that, and it'll be done. I might trim it. I'm going to trim that fluffy bit because I'm not going to be able to anchor anything onto that anyway. And it's only the back. You're not going to see see the back. Right. So what? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not very good, is it? <gasps> I didn't see that. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just not, sorry if I've knocked you again. I'm just going to shove my head in the way. Right. Yeah, I mean, I do feel as I can see that I've gone. I'm going to start there and just kind of 
let's see if I can reroute <laughs> reroute my stitch oh there's a thing there's a seam there isn't there blimey Riley try that again so, yeah see if I can just reroute a little bit I may need to go back on myself a little bit more I'm not sure whether that's going to curve looks like a curve a little bit doesn't it No, I think that will be okay. When I've got some stitches there, you won't be able to tell. You won't be able to tell at all. Don't tell anyone. Don't want to tell anyone. But I've made a mess. And no one will know. Yeah. Let's cut to the top and have another look. Okay, is there anywhere else that I've done that? I mean... I don't want to yank my stitches too much because I've only hand stitched it and it's not mega tight, but I think that's okay. Right. Good, 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 good. That's done. So let's have a think about some decorative stitches. Now I've got some thread. I've got that there. That's like an old time-worn pinky kind of colour, pinky ready colour. That I think that's quite nice. And you know what else I've got? What other colour I've got? Da 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 da. My gallery creamy colour. That I know I say it all the time. I'm like a broken record. It goes with everything, and I love it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use both. I think. Oh, sorry. I'm just getting comfortable. Let's have a go. Let's do this. Let's have a go with this one. I mean, this is really old. You can see that um, it's it's a bit mucky. <laughs> it looks a bit mucky. It's, you can see the new. Can you see where I've unravelled it? And you can see where the dark is. That's where it's obviously been stored and whatnot. And then the, the red, under, the, not red, the pink underneath it that's a bit brighter. But um, it tells a story. And that story is it's old. It was, it's been used before and now it's come into my possession somehow and I'm looking after it and using it and creating it with it. So there we go. Right, I am going to do some fly stitch. Um, if you've seen my other video of the um, the woven panel, the woven little panel that I made, it was wonky. It was really, really wonky, but it was it was following a seam. It was so it was on pur purposely wonky. That's, that's my argument, and that's what I'm sticking to. No, it wasn't purposely wonky, but because I had to follow the seam, which was kind of it, the seam was not straight. That's it. It went wonky, but I thought it looked really good when it's when it was finished. I was pleased with it. So, um, it was a happy accident, a discovery. I think my needle's too thick. I'm just, I'm struggling to get it through. Right, make a choice, Sally. Where are you putting your, your line? I'm going to just go to the, to the, left of my seam <clears throat> I can't get my words out left of my seam because it's easier it seems easier to stitch on that's not right that's not right at all that one is not right okay until I get into a rhythm it takes me a while to get into a rhythm of some of these um, stitches. I think, right, how shall I start it? So that there, that has got to go to that. Oh, that's right. That's what I did, isn't it? Is that not right? Yes, that's right. I'm, I don't know what I did wrong. But yeah, sometimes it takes me a minute just to think, right, where's my positions? And it's up there to the end of this the little body of the fly, I suppose, down, and then we make the body again and up to one of the wings. That's it, right? 
her there. And this is a lovely colour actually, I like this pinky colour. It's, um, although it's on a bobbin, so it looks, it's, it's actually a perle. It's, it's thicker than, it's thicker than that. It's like a perle kind of, a thin perle kind of thread. But it's got no, I can't see it. It's got no name on it as far as I can tell. just going to finish it off and make it a little bit more me it's, it is a little bit like um, the the effect I'm not saying log cabins are like what I do on the, my base fabrics when I like to um, I like to patchworky type onto my base fabric to make um when I'm making when I'm doing my projects. It's the same kind of principle. And then you sew down the seams with decorative stitching. So that's what it feels like to me and anyway, my stitches are getting too big, I can see. Let's try and get rein them in a little bit. Going to help, not sure if it is. Yes, I think that's a little bit better. Have I not looped that ever? Tut tut. Doing all oh my days, concentrate. What's the smell of that apple pie? That's what I'm blaming it on. That's my excuse, and that's what I'm sticking to. This video is going on for I've gone on for too long now I know my one yesterday was really long <laughs> it's about an hour and a half I didn't realize how much how long it was taking me um, so I'm sorry if you've watched that and I've subjected you to an hour and a half of me sewing um, I may have to um, do some of this off camera because I fear that I'm going to go on too long and then come back and show you what I've done because you, you don't want to see me keep doing this yeah you can see what I'm doing anyway so yeah I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop the camera and decorative stitch all the way around and then I'll just come back at the end just to show you what I've done and I will show you how I'm going to attach it back in into the book because I'm going to pop this in one. I'm going to pop this into my my little book of stitcheries, years yearly stitcheries. So 2024, where I've got my first one. Oh, lovely! Oh, I love touching them and feeling them. They feel lovely. So that's my first one anyway. So this one's going to go on. I don't know whether it's going to go on that page or that page. It'll go on one of them anyway. So anyway. I'll come back in a minute. Well, not in a minute because it's going to take me longer than that. I'm going to do the rest of the stitchery and then I'll come back and just show you it finished. Right, I'm back and I've just um, finished uh, my square now. So I've um, I've gone all the way around all of the seams and done some kind of a stitch. Some of them I've got herringbone, I've got the fly stitch, I've done a little bit of feather stitch, some blanket stitch and just some little... Um, overcast stitches on some of them as well oh, and a bit of running stitch as well so that's all done now so I'm quite pleased with that um that's my first ever log cabin square so I'm really happy with that I love the colors the tones and whatnot and um, just how it looks so um yeah really happy with that that is definitely going into my book 
Um, so, let, whoops, sorry, I've gone and knocked you. So, let's go on my next page. Um, over we go. Now, I'm not, I don't know whether, I'm going to put it there, I think. I'm going to, is that the right way? That, I started there, went there. So, I'm going, can you see the spiral? There's the spiral. So, I think that's how I'm going to place it. Um, again, um, I don't want to see the back. It's not particularly pretty or anything or interesting. So I'm just going to stick that down. So again, I'm going to get my yoo-hoo. Let's pop that out of the way a minute. I'm just going to dab. Oh, I also um, just trimmed down. You know how um, my backing fabric kind of wasn't level. So I've just trimmed that down um, just to move it out, keep it out of the way. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue. Oh, it's a bit too much there. It's gone a bit glunky. Oh, that's too much. Hang on. Let me just scrape that. I'm a bit gunky with this one. Right. Okay. So let me just find where I've got my top. I think I've not left. I've not put my top on at some stage. Right. So that's my next square. So whoops, a daisy. Let me pull this page over. This is my next page, and I'm just going to pop it there. Okay, that's that. So there's still, I'm just going to, I'll probably snip those off. I won't do it now because I've not got my scissors handy. A few little bits that I just need trimming off. There's a little bit there that needs trimming off or I might just leave it. You never know. So that's page number two done. And that's my log cabin square. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me and um, I hope to see you again soon. Okay, take care for now. Bye-bye.